for Canada's maple syrup makers, it's the end of the sapping season. That's left farmers waiting to sap to start the running. To combat Canada's unpredictable weather, the industry has taken measures that will keep the syrup on the shelves all year long. Christian Yo reports. In Canada, pancakes just wouldn't be the same without a generous helping of maple syrup. It's the staple of breakfast tables across the country and one of Canada's best known exports. A small amount of maple syrup is produced in the northeastern United States, but the vast majority, 85%, comes from right here in eastern Canada. The maple tree is part of Canadian identity. The famous maple leaf is on the national flag. And when it comes to the sweet stuff, maple syrup, well, this country produces more than any other. Almost 9 million gallons are harvested each year. Getting maple sap to flow is a tricky business. Producers can only tap maple trees when conditions are just right, usually in late winter and early spring. Some years, like this one, the season starts worryingly late. Perfect temperatures for the sap to run is plus five, minus five. Um, so warm temperatures during the day, cool at night. And for that to, to happen gradually over the next four to six weeks uh, is, is going to give us a good, uh, good sap flow. With yearly harvests worth hundreds of millions of dollars, syrup is like liquid gold. So ensuring a steady supply is crucial. Like oil, the world's flow of maple syrup is managed by an OPEC-style group of producers in Quebec. Quebec generates three-fourths of the world's syrup, and its 7,300 producers collectively stockpile sap and agree on production limits. Their decisions steer the price of syrup around the world. With the maple syrup uh, reserve, it helps stabilize the market. So it, it's not because we want to rise the price. It, it, it's because we want to have um, good price for our producer. The Federation has been described as a cartel, something Quebec producers like Norman Aubin laugh off. He says it's about making sure there's never a shortage of syrup after a bad season. If we run out of maple syrup, we have a small season, which might be this year, then we can take that maple syrup, open the valve, and just flood the market to keep the prices down. So the consumers are usually going to have the same price from year to year. And it's not just syrup being pushed to consumers. Maple candies, butter, and even maple-based energy drinks are now entering the marketplace. If those products take off, food makers will need a constant sap supply to feed an ever-growing appetite for the sweet stuff. Christian Yo, CCTV, Eastern Canada.